Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures and um, yeah, this is part two of the uh, decoupaging uh, CD cases. I've been prepping for quite a while for this video so I've thought I'm just turning the camera off now. Uh, on, <laughs> not all, um, before I go, go any further. So these are obviously now dried. It's, you know, another day. I've inked around them again. Um, I've just put some cards in. I just used the green card and covered it with some uh, papers from collage type. And I've put some uh, Tim Holtz tabs on. So I've done that for all six of them. And I've glued up <coughs> that side and opened uh, another side. Some I've done at the top, some I've done at the side. Okay, so I've done that. Um, I splattered some of these again. Uh, I did do a video doing some before, so I thought you probably don't want to see me do it again. I used the same uh, things, plus I've got a couple of the Distress crayons and I did some green uh, down the bottom and then I did some of the honey colour um, here and there and all I did was rubbed it, uh, I just got a little pot of water here and I just then rubbed my uh, finger over it just to smudge it uh, slightly so that's those done. So they're going to go on the actual Um, card so I'm thinking that was right at the bottom so I'm going to stick these right at the bottom and um, I will obviously pause because you don't want to see me do this times six I'm sure I don't even want to do it times six <laughs> it's a lot of gluing um, let's let's think about this sensibly because I'm sure we don't have to glue every single uh, part. Let's make sure we get all the all the base okay I think that might be, be okay okay so I'm going to pop that down and there anything that's um, hanging off I will just uh, cut off in fact if I use my roller and that will adhere it pretty nicely okay so I'm gonna cut that off like so so I'll do that with the other two big ones and then these small ones I thought perhaps I could cut um a section section off and just put it through through the middle so let me get my little scissors so if I went up here like so that would do one section it's rather tall isn't it so I think I'm gonna chop that off and take That bit off, take that bit off, and take that off. Okay, so that's two, and three, and then I want two full ones. For the other two so i <clears throat> can put those two two back um i did do some of the single ones i found out 
and I didn't find out. Um, I found, yeah, I did find out. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> I found the rest of the, the cream or white ones that I'd got. So I did those all um, together. Let's put that lavender in there. So they will be ready for another project. So let's just stick one of the little ones on and then I'll pause and do the do the rest. So hopefully I've prepped everything enough because there's a few uh, steps <coughs> to the to what I'm doing so okay so that's that one I'll leave that with that see you in a tick okay I've stuck all those on so I'm not going to put anything um, else on them they've all been inked around and um, I want to kind of keep that as, as slim as possible so oh gosh which way does it go that way so we'll pop that in like so I should have put it back in shouldn't I inside the CD case to tell you the truth I totally overlooked uh, that yeah it's the first time I've thought about it actually okay and that one okay so they're all in and then I've got some uh, words so can I ink these up and I've got some um, of this netting I don't know if you can quite quite see it but it's just to the side of me I'm just cutting it off uh, the wrong so I was gonna pop that on with that or do I want it across the bottom oh kind of it across the bottom and I think I'm going to do this with um I'm going to say stays on three in one and I've got this uh leaf trim one I got from uh BB craft if you saw my uh BB craft haul and I'm just going to cut two leaves off like so and I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna <laughs> um, first I'm going to oh, open the lid and I'm hoping that the glue what I put on this word will stick um, that netting down because it is pretty difficult to um, stick down that netting so let's pop that there give it a good press on so that glue gunks down and then it's going to pop that there Where did the other leaf go? I don't know. I'll just cut another one off. And that's that. Yep. Oh, it's there a lot. Well, I like it there. Let's stick it there. I was saying it looked like it was part of it. Okay. So let's do do all those first. So that's that one. <coughs> this 
one I've got uh, Earth Laughs in Flowers. So I think we'll have that at the top because that's um, nice and bright. So again, just have to cut that off just a little bit. It's just a bit too long. Okay. Next. And get the fabric tack on here. I'm hoping to get this bottle finished today so I can start start a new one because it's driving me mad. Oops. Let me just get that lid back on that and tip it down before it. And get a couple of leaves. I don't think this one will suit I've in a random leaf on that on the napkin like that. Like that. Lovely. Okay, that's that one. Every flower grows through dirt. I've put an extra leaf on that. So that's the three big ones done. And then we've got Seeds of Love. Let's just ink around that. There always has to be one, doesn't they? I think it's because these are quite curled curled over they was at the end of the um reel of leaves okay that's better oh i like that that's cute so that's that one and um, we've got this one, <coughs> so we've got Stay Grounded, like that at the top I think, or shall we put it across that whiter part there, um, I've got this bit here. This is 
done. Your whole night <laughs> carries on. I think them leaves are really nice. Okay, last one is this one, and I've got sunshine. Let's just tear that down a little bit. Okay. Perfect. I don't know if I want it at the top. Yeah, I like it at the top. Let me just cut it a little bit thinner. Okay. We can go that. on for a minute. I don't need a pencil. Okay, and then I want like my corn extra leaf on that one. there first. Oh, I've got the lid on. Oh dear. Right, so that's that part of it. Okay, okay. Okay, next I'm going to pop some uh, butterflies. I've inked them all um, ready. So these was the, the tiniest um, I had. So I think I'm going to pop that one there. And that one there. Okay. The trim that I used is um, called Burlap, Burlap, um, oh dear, Deco <coughs> trim. And like I say, the leaves was from uh, BB Craft. So that's that one. I don't think I've got two two the same but that one's got some nice blue oh that's nice blue and orange so i think maybe that one there that one looks nice there these are butterfly kits what i'll have printed you know either two to a page or four to a page to get them 
uh, tiny. They're obviously a nightmare to, to cut out. And I think these are uh, mainly Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo and I think there's some Artie Mays. I think that's that one. spots on it. I can go that and like that there. Okay. Thinking those orange ones would probably be nice on the on the orange. That'd be nice on there though. Let's put that on that. And that one down there. I think I'm gonna put three on this one. I'll have those two together. That's nice. Lovely. So these will be stuck down to something and they will open and then obviously we've got the card there and then we're going to do something uh, with the back. I'm just going to use this one, this one up. Come on. Come on. You often see them dancing around together, don't you? That's that. <coughs> and this one, maybe that smaller one in there. And the bigger one there. Okay. So that's them done. I, I love them. And come out really, really nice. I wish I'd have done more, really. Because there was quite, not fiddly, but this this seemed to have been a lot of uh, stages to them. So these smaller ones, and just open the flaps. That's the right way. I've got um, <coughs> these papers. I think these ones are from Stationery Pal or they could be from uh, a Bunjo. I've got both of their um, links in my link tree and um, Tapology and there's coupon codes for each of those uh, shops um, and these papers here, the bigger ones. I just can't remember um, who I got, who I got what off. I found them very, very handy and uh, they just fit lovely. So I'm going to glue those on. And then if you can see at the right hand side, I've got that, um, that faux um, stitching stamp, uh, what I got from BB Craft and I'm going to try try that out it's not totally straight but that's fine doesn't look like it should be a straight piece of paper as soon as it's got a um, it looks like a burn So yeah, these these pieces of paper they're very handy for backing things, or they're great for for collage to give you, you know, lots of different um, backgrounds, uh, papers. Love that one. So that's that one. Yeah. Not going that way. Yep. Then I hadn't got any to, um, you know, to 
totally fit the CD one, so I'm going to rip those down. Okay, so lots of those done. Let's um, so I think I'd be better going. I don't think it makes any difference. So yeah, that goes that way. So I'm going to get my tear roller and just rip the top and the bottom. I'm not ripping the sides because obviously I don't want it um, any shorter than, than it is. So I might as well do and I'll put those in, in my um, scrap thing for collage. Throw those two, but I'm gonna save that one because I like it. Right, let's um, ink around these. So these will be uh, a writing spot. I mean, I may end up putting uh, a pocket at the back, but um, at least there's something you know on the back for for now. I mean, I may not use them as, as flip outs, you know, I could take take this bit bit off, but I normally do use them as flip outs. Okay, let's get these down. So which way does that go that way? Let's try and get around the edges. <coughs> filled the glues up this morning. I have been moaning about them for a while. Right, that's, that's that one. And we've got this one. So I'm going to use this stays on uh, timber brown because if I had uh, done stitching on here, um, I wouldn't have probably used black. Um, it would have been more than likely uh, brown. So we'll try this first one. And I think I'm going to go down there. So if I go to about... Ah, yeah, I love it. It's going to be so handy for for things that that you can't uh, sew. Oh, that's not handy. That's definitely not handy. <laughs> Probably not when I'm stamping. I need to click it in. I don't know if it's the right way. Ah, that was why I've got it the wrong the wrong way. Let's um do a bit down here. Yeah, great. 
So that's that one. Yeah, I like that one. Let's do this one. Okay. Can go across the top first. <laughs> oh, that's such fun. Yeah, it's cool. So, that's that. So, yeah, I do like those too. I think these top few are going to be my, my favourite. So, and this is just like a messy... Um, stitching like as if you've gone round something uh, twice look at this let's do it across from that now to me that doesn't really look like stitching but maybe if you did you know all the way around something it would do. Ah, oh, yeah, it's starting to. Yeah, it does now. Yeah, definitely like the, the top two. What's this fourth one? Oh, that's like a zigzag. Let's do that one. Uh, the small one. Yep. Okay. So I think I'll just go down one side. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, sorry about the, the glare. Um, oh, I'll try the other one. So yeah, I like that one. Don't think I'm going to be so keen on that one. Um, let's try this um, like V one. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, last week I put my stamp upside down and this week I've put the um, thing upside down, honestly. Shouldn't be allowed out on my own. Yeah, I like that. And you can actually see, like, the, um, the holes, you know, where your needle would go through. Yeah, I do like that one. So, yeah, up to now, I mean, and that one was okay, but I, I think probably those three I don't think I'm as keen on. But we'll try, we'll try that one. But yeah, I need to remember that I do have this because, um, yeah, I'm going to say some things you just can't sew unless I took something totally apart. No, I'm not, I'm not so keen on that. It's a nice pattern, but to me that doesn't, it doesn't scream um, sewn. So, that's, that's those. So, I hope you've enjoyed uh, that. I think they've come out absolutely lovely. Um, it was fiddly doing the napkin thing, but now I've done it and I know that it doesn't have to, you know, be perfect. I... I like that, um, you know, it not being a perfect uh, circle. So I think it's made it look look quite different. Right, so that's that's me, um, and I shall see you um, tomorrow. So bye for now.